Hi boys and girls. Today I have a fun activity for you. It's the cup passing game. But because we're in a COVID situation, we wouldn't pass the cup. But there are a number of different ways to manipulate the cup to a rhythm pattern and then you'll play it along with the song. So let me just go over the cup vocabulary for you. Very simple, tap the table, tap, tap. Okay, let's tap that table, double, 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 double. Now you can also pick the cup up. You can pick it up straight and put it down, up, down, okay? Or you can just down the motion. You know, when we say down, you just up it down. But if it's an up, down, up, down, you can see that that's two beats. The down would be down, that's one beat. Up, down's two beats, up, down, okay? Clap, snap. Uh, tapping the cup on the side, side, side. And be careful, this cup, if you have a bigger cup, you can maybe use a little more pressure. If you have a smaller cup, just tap it with two fingers. Tap, tap. Now, you can also, if I say hold, you know, we tap and hold. That means you're gonna pick the cup up and do something with it. So tap and hold and push. Okay, see how that's gonna go? Okay. You can tap the cup on the side of on the side of the table. So it can go down on the desk. Tap it on the side. Tap it on the side. You can also tap it on the top of the table. And that you can use two hands with or one hand, and it can go back towards you, front, back and front, and over and tap. So that's a, that's a possibility as well. Uh, naturally, there's top, 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 okay? Uh, we talked about tapping down, we talked about, you can turn the cup over. Down, over, down, pop. Isn't that clever? Down, over, down, pop, okay? You could do double doubles. Down, down, over, over, down, and pop, okay? Down, down. So there's a whole bunch of combinations that you could create. Um, like I said, you could pass, but we're not going to do that. You could say side up. So you could tap your hands on the side of the cup, but you hold it. So you would say hold and tap, hold and tap. So you could actually push the cup down. That's a combination. Down and tap, down and tap. You could tap it on the floor, tap the top of the cup on the floor. Tap and turn it over. Tap. One and tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Be careful when you do that one. Okay, you can snap your fingers in between. Okay, you can tap your lap. Lap, lap, tap, tap, tap. You can tap the edges of the cup to the table. One, two, like a little bell. Ring, ring. Then let's see if I can think of some other one. We had an open tap. Oh, swipes. Swipes are fun. You hold the cup and you swipe. You can do a double swipe. Swipe, swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Tap, tap. Okay? You can clap. If you were playing in a circle, you could clap your hands, clap your partner's hands, your partner's hands. But social distancing, not so much. But you can pretend. I mean, you could pretend you have a partner there. You could clap one and two. Clap and out. Clap and push, clap and push up, clap and push down. So there's different combination patterns to do that. And last but not least, I didn't realize there was as much stuff you could do with a cup. You could scratch. Scratch, scratch, tap, tap, scratch, scratch, push, push. So there's all different kind of um, activities you can do with this cup. But what we're going to do is create rhythm patterns to holiday songs. So go get your cup and come on in December, okay? No glass. So have a happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you in December when we play our cup game. Bye-bye, my sweet friends.